Hello, this is a video about how to make a behavior pack for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. First, you're going to want to go to this website, minecraft.net slash en dash us slash add-ons. And then, you're going to want to go down here, and you're going to click on behavior packs. And it's going to download a zip file, and when it's done re downloading, you'll know because the, the circle around it will disappear. Then, you're going to close um, Google Chrome, and you're going to open Files. And then you're going to click on... Double-click on Downloads. Then, you're going to see th this file, but yours won't have the one on it. And you're going to cr click on it, click on Extract, click on Extract All. And then just click extract and wait for the timer to be, the progress bar to be done. Okay, so mine is almost done and there it's done. And when it's done, it will open it in a, it will open it in a new instance of folder. So you want to close that and you want to, and you want to drag your un, your uncompressed one to your desktop. Then you want to double click on the search bar. You want to delete everything there. You want to type percent app data percent enter. You're going to click on app data. You're going to double click local. You're going to double click packages. And then you're going to scroll down until you see My Microsoft.Minecraft UP and then a bunch of random stuff. And you're going to double click on that. And you're going to double click on local state. And you're going to double click on games. Com.mojang. And then you're going to double click on behavior packs. And you're going to drag your new one in there. And I'm going to rename mine because I have another one in there. Uh, and then you're going to double click on it. And then you're going to see all of this. Ignore documentation. First, we're going to check out what you can do in Entities. And in order to edit any of this, you're going to need a program called Visual Studio Code. And that's a program that allows you to edit JSON source files. And if you want to edit the effects of something, you can just double click on it. And if you have Visual Studio Code installed, it'll automatically open Visual Studio Code with that file in there and you can look at the file for area effect cloud .json. and i'm not sure what this actually is um yeah so we're gonna close out of that and you got all your normal things you got armor stand arrow bat b blaze boat cat cave cider chest minecart chicken command block minecart and many more and uh say so you wanted to edit blazes you could double click on it, and you can edit things like the amount of experience you get from them. You can, uh, you can ma even make them experimental gameplay if you really want to. Um, yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff that you can change in here. You can even change uh, whether or not it takes damage in water or rain. Um, yeah. And you can change that for all of these. Um, you, you may you may notice that only uh, mobs that can naturally breed have the breeding code in it, but you can just copy and paste this into. Um, wait, it's all it goes all the way down here. And then you're gonna just copy and paste that from there into say um, boat boats don't breed, so you can just uh, copy and paste them, paste it into here. Um, yeah. So you're just gonna want to copy and paste it right there, and you can change mate type. To Minecraft a boat 
baby type Minecraft boat. Um, and then you can change the breed items to whatever you want. You can add them too. So like you can add uh yeah and then when you want to and when you're done editing it you need to go over he open click this and you're going to see this save all button and you're going to click that and then you can close it. Um and then uh that's everything in entities and items you can for some reason it seems there's only food, plantable things and camera. Uh, which I'm not, which I'm pretty sure is, um, which, if you don't know what camera is, it's left over from code from a long time ago, essentially like 2012 or something like that, when Minecraft Bedrock Edition was only on phones, and they, and phones didn't have screenshot features, there was a, uh, a Minecraft item for camera that you could take screenshots with. And the code's still in the game. You can even bring it back if you really want to. But, yeah. And then next is loot tables. In loot tables, you can change things like what spawns in end city chests. Yeah, so, like, you can have diamonds. Uh, naturally, there's, like, diamonds, iron ingot, ingots, gold ingots, emeralds, beetroot seeds, things like that, but... So you don't like emeralds, for example, you can change that to, um, bedrock, maybe? And, I'm not sure what weight does, but th this part, the minimum, is the minimum amount that will be in the chest if it decides that there's gonna be that in the chest, and max is the maximum amount. You can change that to, like, you can have 1 to 10. Too. And remember, you have to save it every time. Um, yeah. Also, there's some weirdly worded things like dispenser trap is the hidden chest in jungle temples. And um, yeah. Next, uh, in loot tables, there's also things like entities, and you can uh, see what everything drops and change that. So, uh, I don't think llamas drop anything, so, uh, no, llamas do drop things, so you can see they drop things like leather, and, um, you can change that to, uh, uh, um, whatever you want, you can change that to, like, diamond, and you can change how many can spawn, can have up to five with a minimum of one and you can change and change the amount looting to give it can give it to three if you want and then you can just save that um yeah and then also in loot tables there's equipment which uh i haven't looked at this yet actually so i'm gonna figure it out too um, yeah, I have no idea what this is. Someone else might know, though, so, uh, if you do, leave a comment. And then there's gameplay, which is all the fishing and stuff, and then we have recipes. You can change the recipes for everything, so say I want to change the recipe for acacia wood strip, then you can, so this is, like, the bark block stripped and you can change it and so you have like you need uh this is like the crafting grid and they, they have these number symbols and they have number symbol defined as stripped acacia log but what at if i wanted to change it uh, make it so you needed um like an enchantment table in the bottom right corner or something uh then what you would do is you'd press enter here and then you press that there and then you put o and then you'd put this and then you put that you press enter and you put this item and then you put that and then you put minecraft 
enchantment table. Oh, wait, hold on. You need to have a, a space. This Minecraft enchantment table. And then, um, you can also change the amount of what it gives you. So, like, instead of three, you can make it 64. So every time you put three stripped acacia logs and an enchantment table in your, um, in your, in the crafting table like this, you'll get 64 of these. And then we're gonna just save that. Yeah, and then we're gonna close it, and this is basically all for recipes. Um, I haven't checked scripts either yet. Oh, client server. Uh, okay, I think that's, uh, like, if you wanted to make, like, an anti-cheat, you'd make it there. I think. I don't, I don't know how to do that, though, so I'm, I, I'm not gonna say. Uh, you can change the spawn rules for things like bat. You can you can if you really really don't like bats, you can make them so that they like don't spawn at all if you really really want to, maybe. But you can like change all this like um I'm not sure what this means, <laughs> but uh. Heard, I'm pretty sure, means that the amount that can spawn in one place, so we'll turn that way up to a hundred for the max. Um, and then we'll save that, uh, and then we can change all of these, their trades. I'm pretty sure you have to go into economy trades to do it, um, but you can. You can, like, change a stonemason's trades to, um, you can change a stonemason's trades. So, like, right now, at the fir first level, you can give him ten clay balls for one emerald. Um, you can change that to one clay ball to one emerald you want. If you want, you can change that from... One clay ball to f for one emerald to one clay ball for one diamond if you want. You can do basically anything with the trades. Oh, a really cool thing would be to see if we can get get it to give us a camera with this. So I'm going to set it so that if we tr give him an emerald, it'll give us a camera. And I'm going to save that. And I'm going to close that. And then, uh, Manifest is the name of your, um, text, uh, of your behavior pack and, um, the description. So, like, you can change the name here to, uh, Tutorial or whatever you want. And then you can just save that, close the pack icon is what will show up it, when you um, look at it in the behavior packs menu, and you can edit this if you want to. Uh, I'll show you how. You just click edit with Paint 3D. Because with Paint 3D, you can change it on a pixel level. So like, you see this? We can get our pixel pen tool, and uh, you can change it to one pixel if you want. And then you can, uh, if you, to one pixel if you want, and then you can just draw one pixel at a time, whatever you want. And you can change the color here, you can change the color to whatever you want here, and then you can just go crazy. To save it, you click menu, save, and then you can exit. And then what you're gonna, and then um, you can just close this, 
and you can open Minecraft. Oh yeah, and then when you're here, you're going to want to click edit the world that you're um you're going to want to use it on, and you're going to click on Behavior Packs. If you have one active, you're going to want to deactivate it. And oh yeah, well a pack I well I already showed you everything you need, so I'm going to just show you a pack I made earlier in order to um. In order to demonstrate that it does work. Uh, I, oh yeah, what I did in this one is I changed the crafting recipe for conduits. And I'm going to show you what I changed it to, and I'm going to show you that it works, I'm going to show you that the old one doesn't work anymore. And I'm in here, and I'm going to get all the stuff for crafting a conduit with this behavior pack on. I'm going to, you're going to, I'm going to need iron, and I'm going to need, uh, heart of C and I'm gonna go to the crafting table and I'm gonna surround it I'm gonna make this shape with iron and then I'm gonna do that with the heart of C and it'll craft a conduit uh, the old recipe you had nautilus shells surrounding a heart of the C and when I do that it doesn't work anymore so the behavior pack did work